Today we're out in one of my farms in Staffordshire. I've been asked to come and take a look today because one of the fields where these are living over the winter, some rabbits seem to have took over and on a bank where I knew it was pretty clear, they've well opened some new holes up. Today, I want to come out and show you why I'm here. Big main reason for these guys, to protect them. They're very valuable horses on here, so they don't want any legs broken because of a rabbit. We do get the odd rats around these barns. We want to try and stop and chew in the boarding. I still try and come along while I'm lamping the rabbits. I'll definitely take a look in here. Keep on top of them now, and then you're not going to get a load back in the summer. These guys drink a lot of water, so I'll try and keep on top of the wood pigeons. And any pigeon droppings that go in that water does contain bacteria that is harmful to any farm animal. So we're not just protecting crop when we shoot the pigeons on the farms. So hopefully, we'll have a walk round. I'll show you the damage that they are doing, and then you never know, we might shoot one of them. So these trees here, last year, they were quite a bit of a mess over. So the farmer has cleared a lot of it all the way along. But because some of them, they've still got a little bit of life in them, where the squiddles have stripped all the bark off, we're getting a lot of bugs going in here now. So they're brilliant for the wildlife. So he's left a few of these, which it's great to see. A lot of people don't understand why we need to control the grey squiddles. So I'd say 90% of the reason I shoot the grey squiddle is because I want my native red squiddle back. I'll probably never see it again in, the, in my lifetime in this area. But I like my grandkids to see them when the grey squiddles are just damaging trees. They're killing our red squiddles, so that's why I like to control the grey squiddle. As you can see, if ever there's a rabbit warren, that's being used, it's that one. That must be one fat heavy rabbit to make that. One good thing that this rabbit could have had going for him was a footpath. We've got a footpath coming here. There's a stile at the fence there where I've just got over and this wood goes all the way around this bend. Unlucky for him, I can lie out in the field here, 30 yards, see anybody walking there or there and I can have this rabbit. Normally, I'd be straight away from any footpath. It's not worth the trouble if someone wants to walk past and you're all trying to shoot rabbits. But here, I can see people coming from a long way off. If I don't get him, there's always another day. I'll just move away. Nobody's none the wiser, but I'm having him. As you can see, you've got the sheep on this farm. There's jackdaws and crows amongst them. At the minute, they're only taking the worms out of the ground. I've been asked a few times, why do I shoot crows on a farm like this? They're not causing any trouble. In fact, they are. If one of them sheep now is coming into lambing, as soon as they drop a lamb, that crow will soon swap from a worm and he'd be straight on that lamb. If I get asked to come on a job, whether it's this farm or any farm that I go on that have got sheep and crows, that's why I control them on there. Okay, so we've had a walk around. I've identified a lot of places where I need to clear the pests on the farm. Rats wise around the farm, there's hardly any sign of new activity, but I will keep my eye on that when we're out lamping rabbits. You can spot a rat dead easy by its eye running along the sheds. No squiddles about. There's been the odd sign that they've been on the floor feeding on some of the pine cones from the woods next door. I'm lucky I bought the Galahad. I've been struggling with the 177 sub 12 foot pound. This is the FAC version, my favorite gun. For all round shooting, this is definitely the baby in these conditions anyway. In the Air Max scope, there's a cracking scope to complement the Galahad. So we're going to head back towards the farm and we'll try and see if we get some more pigeons.
Well, we've come to the end of the day. We've managed to get a jack door off the paddock, not far from where we shot the pigeon. Luckily, it was in the field because we've had a couple of pigeons coming more or less the same tree. You've seen the damage that they're causing now. We're not out to show everything. We just want to control what pests are here so they're not pests. Again, like I said earlier with the Galahad, if I hadn't brought this, I probably wouldn't have been able to get them to with the wind. So hopefully next time we go out, we'll be able to at least shoot more of what we're after.